Hey folks, we out here harvesting our multiply and onions project we've been working on for about four years. And I want to show you today how you can grow your own multiply and onions in your very backyard. Well, for you folks that don't know, I've been working on this project about four years now. And I'll give you a little background on, on this onion and its relationship to me. So when I was a young man or a youngster, I remember my grandparents and a lot of people growing this in their homestead you know growing this in their garden and um, just a few years ago i got to thinking about them again and i said man i need to start growing them again because i grew them in my early 20s and like so many things life life happens and things change and i, I lost them so uh, i started looking for them just a few years ago and i couldn't find out they was hard to come by and a lot of people that i talked to didn't even know anything about them now the old timers still did but uh, the younger generation didn't have a clue when i mentioned multiplying onion so i set out on a quest to do some research there and see if i can find some and to get started again growing them and that's what i did so i uh, i did a video i think and uh, we did some some content on it and i got some feedback from over in alabama and texas and i had a family there in alabama the Wright family sending me some i also had a family out in texas send me some and then we found some here in georgia in thomas county georgia and uh, we had to buy those but i bought a few of those so i had three different strands of multiplied names and that was about four years ago, so I started planting them, and I was interested to see if there was going to be any difference in the strains that I got from different parts of the country, because, as you well know, plants have a way to adapt them to their environment. So I thought it was really important to find out if there was any differences in the strains where they was grown at. So I brought them in here, and I did several different test plots with them, grew them out for a couple of years, and I really didn't see much of a difference, which was good in kind of a way. And then we started trying to grow enough to get them in production where we could sell them because I wanted to make these available for people that had never uh, experienced them before, people that was having a hard time finding them. In the meantime of growing these things, I learned a lot, which is always good. I talked to a lot of old timers just growing them for years. I did a little research here and there, and I learned a lot of things I did not know about them. Now, with the research I did, I really couldn't find much on the internet at all about these things. I did, however, run across little tidbits of information. And one of the things I run across was, was we think these may have been developed and released by LSU somewhere in the early 1900s. I really couldn't find much information, but I did find just a tidbit of information about that. So that led me to believe that. Because I know somewhere along the line, somebody had to bring these down to the south because they're so well adapted here in the south and they were so widespreadly grown, they had to be available from somewhere. So we think they were released from LSU back in the day. I actually talked to a guy that uh, worked with LSU Extension and uh, he kind of thought the same thing I did. So that was interesting. Now I'm going to show you the different stages of the way these things grow and try to give you some information on how they grow. And maybe that'll help you when you plant yours and you'll know when to harvest them and when to split them and all that. Well, we talk about splitting because these are multiplying onions there. Now this bunch right here, I planted one single onion last September. And I just dug these today and here it is the 1st of April. And I have probably got somewhere in the neighborhood of 18 to 20 onions in this one bunch. And that came from that in about six or seven months. So multiply an onion, it is a fitting name for them. Now, these things will bloom, but I actually don't think they seed out. I think they just bloom out. And that's not necessarily such a big deal, but they will load up with blooms in the springtime. So this is the way I plant them one at a time. I normally plant them 12 inches apart because I like to put them on drip tape. And I plant my rows, my row spacings anywhere from 24 to 36 inch, whatever works for you there as far as getting your equipment down through there to cultivate them. Now these things are extremely resilient. And that's one thing that I think is, you know, make, made them such a great product for the home garden. It's going to take a lot of care and you can't hardly kill them. Now this bunch right here that you see right there 
is a bunch that I've had growing in the ground for two years. Now, they've not been dug in two years. They've not had any fertilizer or water added to them in the last year. So for last year, they've not been supplemented with fertilizer or water. And you can still see there, it's a pretty good bunch of onions. Nice little bubs on them there. Now, they do struggle during the summertime when it gets hot and dry. That's the reason I recommend, if I plant any more, I'm going to put them on drip tape because they do struggle some. They'll come right back out. Sometimes the tops get looking a little raggedy, and I'll take the lawnmower there and cut the tops off. That's kind of amazing there. There's probably a good 20 bulbs in there right there. Hadn't anything been done to them in over a year. Now, this bunch right here is another bunch that I've grown that I planted in September. This was a patch that I planted early in September. And the reason was I wanted to know what was the optimal planting time for these. So I planted these early on, and then I planted these a little bit later around the first of November and you can see these are a good bit bigger not near as many bulbs in there but a, a good bit larger bulb there so I think the ideal thing is to is to plant them in the fall in November now I say that I'm talking to you guys is on uh, 8 9 and 10 uh, you guys in zone 7 and up, you're going to have to put, just so, uh, store the bulbs dry during the wintertime and plant them in the spring, grow them in the summertime. Now, us down here in the deep south, we can grow these things year round. So, if you plant these in November, dig them, split them in the springtime, somewhere around April, whenever you get around to it, plant them again on some drip tape, and let them grow all summer long to the next October, and dig them again. I think that's ideal because you get that nice bub size there and then you got onions to eat on year round. The thing about these mukline onions, I, I pulled this one off this bunch right here. You can pull that off. You can dig you a bunch. You can carry them to the house. You can eat every one of them and save you some other ones that are growing and dig them and multiply them out. So it doesn't take many to get you started and next thing you know you got a bunch of onions to share with your family and friends. So you could dig the clump up, break your two or three off, plant it back, or just dig a whole clump up and eat them and save you some root stock growing to replant. Uh, so we got these that have been in the ground for a couple years, no fertility, no water. Now I did fertilize these and water these. These were on drip tape and I did fertilize them. I grew these just like I would a regular Vidalia type onion. I fertilized them pretty heavy, kept the water poured to them and they made some nice size bulbs. These here, I did keep watered, had them on drip tape, and uh, kept them fertilized as well. I planted them a little earlier, and they didn't make as big as bulbs. Now, they're going to be fine for to replant. If you buy some from us, you probably get some of these. It's no big deal. Just tear them apart there. You can trim some of the roots off of them if you like. If you don't, no big deal. Plant these things about an inch deep. They may sit there for a little bit. Next thing you know, they'll sprout right out. Ooh, that wind's blowing pretty hard out there today. I want to show you these bulbs right here. Now, these are some I've had stored in the barn for about eight months. Look at there. They still got green coming out of them. I could bust these apart, still plant them. They'll do fine. So you can use these things as dry bulbs. They've got really good storage to them right there. Or you can just plant them just as soon as you dig them. Now, the more you dig these things, the more you multiply them, the better they like it. See there? Man, these are nice. We call these the Tom Multiplying Onions because we named them as Thomas County, Georgia. We figured they needed a name. So there you have it, folks. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned a little bit today about multiplying onions. If you want to learn more about vegetable gardening and growing your own food, check this out.